Hello, welcome to day eight of 100 Days of Thomism. Uh, today's uh, study is uh, of a William Morris Hunt painting called Pasture by a Pond. Uh, I should introduce myself. I'm M. Francis McCarthy and I am the artist uh, or uh, landscape painter, uh, if you prefer. Um, I don't know tons about William Morris Hunt, other than he was one of the main, uh, uh, let's say, the main people that really started tonalism. He, he studied under the Barbizon painter Millet uh, in France, and uh, he came back to the U.S. and definitely was one of the founders of the movement. Um, his work is uh, its all pretty awesome, actually. Uh, he painted a, a wide variety of different types of things and subjects. This particular painting I found very um, inviting and attractive, and that's the reason I executed it. It went, uh, went pretty quickly. Um, let's see, I'm going to read a little bit about old uh, Mr. Uh, actually, about this painting, first of all, the, uh, the size of the original was 18 and a quarter by 28 and a quarter inches, or if you prefer, 47 centimeters by 72 centimeters. Um, it was painted on canvas and it's currently residing in a private collection. William Morris Hunt was uh, a member of the Hunt family of Vermont, and uh, his parents were among the largest landowners in Vermont. Uh, so he came from a family of wealth and prominence. Um, he, uh, he studied art in Paris, like I said, and uh, he studied with Millet. It says here, the companionship of Millet had a lasting influence on Hunt's character and style. And his work grew in strength and beauty and in seriousness. He was among the biggest proponents of the Barbizon School in America. And he, more than any other, turned the rising generation of American painters towards Paris. About his influence, S. G. W. Benjamin wrote in a posthumous assessment of Hunt, to the late William M. Hunt, we must ascribe the general impulse towards foreign styles now modifying the arts of design in this country. The power of Mr. Hunt was felt in directing a large number of young art students to visit Paris, and eventually also Munich, at each of which the tendency has been for some years towards bolder methods and the techniques of art. This result has been to introduce America to a truer perception of vital importance of style in the present stage of our art, and to emphasize the truth that he who has anything to say will make it much more effective if he knows how to give it adequate utterance. <clears throat> Pretty good uh, quote there about Hunt. So he was one of the main guys sending people to France uh, to study this looser, more fractured approach to painting prior to uh, the Barbizon sort of influence, um, I would say, uh, the Hudson River school was predominant and uh, also a generation of painters called the Luminists. Um, some people might even consider Hunt to be a bit of a Luminist. Uh, he certainly was just on the ground floor of tonalism. He was really working in that, that Barbizon style, the Barbizon mode. Um, I guess I can talk a little bit about this painting. Uh, this is another one of these paintings where quite a bit of the brown uh, in my burnt sand ground is coming through and the, the greens are sort of floating on top. And this is something I've been playing with for many, many years, but uh, again to reiterate in this, uh, in this particular series I really found uh, some, some great ways of expressing those greens. Uh, the nice thing about having the browns counteract the greens is it keeps the greens from being too vivid, too bright, and um, unrealistic. And you'll, you'll really notice in a lot of modern painters' paintings that their greens are often too bright and uh, just, to me, unpleasant to look at. And I would include myself in that back when I first started painting. I've got a few paintings that. Uh, uh, contain what I would term to be poison greens. Um, so it's very, uh, very valuable to, uh, to, to know that there's a remedy for that. And uh, my particular solution, and the solution of a lot of other tonalists, um, is to paint on this uh, 
It's not a dull brown uh, color, it's burnt sienna, which is a very reddish brown. That's almost really a warm red. Um, in fact, today I was looking at some paintings by uh, Winslow Homer, who's you know, not a tonalist, but he's you know an awesome painter. And uh, I could see he was exercising the same sort of technique in the, the greens in his landscape. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in to day eight, and have a great day, and stay out of trouble. See you tomorrow. Later.